Okay, so I am using the microphone on my document camera this time, so if it's really loud, I apologize. I just had somebody suggest that I talk louder, and so maybe if I have the mic right in front of my face, it will be better. So, um, this is cor correlation versus causation. This is activity 2.4 and M1188. Um, there is an assignment that is that are these problems right here so make sure you've done that um, before you've started this video so you should see an assignment that's titled 2.4 correlation versus causation make sure you have done that before um, and that's just reading these problems and seeing if Alonzo and Richard are correct which I think it's so weird that this student has the name Alonzo since that's my name but so here we go. So if the number of smartphones sold in the United States has increased every year since 2005, the number of flat screen televisions sold in the United States has also increased during that same time period. Alonzo and Richard reached the conclusion that owning a cell phone causes a person to buy a flat screen television. Do you think that that is true or not true? Do you agree with them or do you not agree with them? So I do not agree with them because having a cell phone doesn't mean that you have a flat screen TV um, or vice versa just because you have a flat screen TV doesn't mean that you have a cell phone so again these do not cause the other um, so this is no I, I, I said no you can have a cell phone without TV. Technology in that time frame since 2005 has just been come, becoming more and more available. So that, in my opinion, is why. Um, the next one, since 2004, the average salary of an NFL football player has increased every year. The average weight of an NFL player has also increased. They reach the conclusion that, that higher salaries cause them to gain weight. Um, Yes, if you have more money, you might be able to buy more food, but in this case, it's definitely a no. They're making more money, um, and it's not caused. So I would say no, more people watch, possibly. So they make more money. Okay, and then this last one. Worldwide, the number of automobiles sold annually, that's yearly, has steadily increased since 1920. Gasoline production has also steadily increased since 1920. Alonzo and Richard conclude that the increase in the number of automobiles sold caused an increase in the amount of gasoline produced. I definitely think yes, because as you have more cars on the road, the more gasoline is going to need to be produced. So yes, more cars means more gas needed. So I put no, no, yes on that. So this is a problem that we're going to talk about. There is a definition here, but I'm not going to, I don't like reading their definition. So I'm going to get my notebook and I'm going to read or, and I'm going to write my definition there. Okay, sorry, you saw my little note card. So, even though um, this is, so those were called correlation. So correlation. So as um, the number of smartphones went up, the number of televisions sold would have gone up. Like if you were looking at a graph, both of them could go up together. You know, as this increases, this is increasing. Just because they're correlated does not mean or prove the cause. And we call this or causation. So that's that word that you saw. I'm going to zoom in just a little bit. Hopefully this isn't loud. 
Actually, I'm not because I'm going to have to go back to my book in just a second. So, causation is a relationship. between, sorry, you can probably hear my husband, he's talking to his classes, between two events where one is affected or caused, I like using the word caused because causation caused by the other. So if we think about the three problems that we looked at, there was a correlation between the number of smartphones. So as the number of smartphones were sold, the number of flat screens sold also increased. That's a correlation, but they're not caused by each other. Um, so the example I like to think about is the ice cream sales and temperatures. So I'm gonna do a different example along with that. So if I, graphed ice cream sales and sunglasses sold. So as the number of ice cream sold increases, you could guess that the number of sunglasses sold are going to also increase because both go up on sunny days, sunny hot days, I'll say. There's gonna be more people buying sunglasses on a sunny hot day than there would be on a cloudy day. Um, but these do not cause each other. So they're correlated, they both go up, but ice cream, does not cause sunglass sales. Okay, so those are a correlation without causation. I know this is a bunch of writing today, but it's just, when you're talking about some of these things, it's just a bunch of writing, so sorry. So correlation without causation. They were definitely correlated, but one doesn't cause the other. Now, if we were to talk about temperatures, temperature and ice cream, ah, we've talked about this one a few times, but as the temperature is going up, the ice cream is also going up. So as temperature rises, I forgot to write the word sold. As temperature rises, the num, sorry, this causes ice cream sales to go up. So this is causing, the temperature rising is causing the ice cream sales to go up. So this is correlation with causation. And I want you to highlight this. So when it has it, when you can make a statement that says causes, this causes the other to go up, then it is correlation with causation. It's both. So you have both. When one goes up but it's not caused by the other, not caused, it's correlation without causation. So now I'm gonna look at the problem in the book and we're not gonna actually talk about all of these things. Um, so many medical studies have tried to prove that smoking causes lung cancer. Actually, we will just go ahead and talk about them. So is smoking necessary for a condition for lung cancer? 
So can is all lung cancer caused by smoking? No. You can have you can get lung cancer and have never smoked. So some people that have been in the military, people that have worked around insulation in houses can get lung cancer. So just lung cancer is not only caused by smoking. Um, is smoking a sufficient condition for cancer? Um, so no, not everyone who smokes gets cancer. You might, they might have passed away from something else first, or they might have gotten in a car wreck, or you might not get. I know that my husband's grandfather has smoked his whole life, and he's 88 years old, and he doesn't have cancer. So just um, smoking is not the only thing that, um, or not everyone that has lung cancer has smoked. Um, is there a correlation between people who smoke and people who get lung cancer? Well, yes. Scientists have proven that. Um, they have a higher chance to get cancer. Okay, is it true that smoking causes lung cancer? Yes, they have proven that. Um, so they first found, and I'm not going to write all this, but so yes, um, they have proven it. They say that, and I'm just reading this, what the book says so that I say it correctly. Um, they've proven smoking cancer causes lung cancer, smoking causes lung cancer by first finding the correlation between smokers and lung cancer, and then by discovering that smoking damages the lung tissue. So there was correlation and there is causation. Yes, you have a higher chance to get lung cancer. Or, again, try to write it with a cause. So this would be causation. Smoking causes lung cancer. Do you always get it? No. But remember, just like if the temperature is really high, it doesn't always make people buy. It doesn't make every single person go buy ice cream. It's just a correlation. It does go up. The more you smoke, the more, ch the higher your chances are to get lung cancer. So that's why I really didn't like that problem. Um, I did want to talk about smoking just because that's another one that's pretty obvious to some people. But I like this ice cream and temperatures. So remember, temperatures cause ice cream sold to go up, but these two don't cause each other. They just correlate. Okay. Sorry that that was a bunch of writing.